Congress MP Shashi Tharoor has been cleared by a Delhi court today of charges in the case involving the death of his wife, Sunanda Pushkar. Pushkar had been found dead in the suite of a luxury hotel in Delhi on the night of January 17, 2014. Tharoor had been charged with abetment to suicide and cruelty by the Delhi police. Well, today he was cleared off those charges and told the court that he was most grateful and that it had been seven and a half years of absolute torture. Let's uh, go right across uh, now to Vikas Pahwa, uh, Shashi Tharoor's lawyer, who's joining us uh, on the program at this point. Um, Shashi Tharoor also putting out a statement after that, saying that uh, there were preposterous charges by the Delhi police and, uh, you know, the court's order brings significant conclusion to a long nightmare. Your thoughts at this point, Vikas Pahwa, on what we heard the court say today? Well, of course, it has taken seven and a half years to seek uh, discharge from this case. The unfortunate death was uh, in 2014, January 2014. And uh, I was quite surprised when the Delhi police filed the charge sheet in this case because there's no evidence. There is absolutely no evidence of cruelty or torture or even abetment to suicide. Forget about abatement, there was no evidence of suicide in this case. But Delhi police thought it appropriate to file the charge here and leave it to the court. And we were very fortunate that the learned special judge gave us the opportunity to argue uh, at length and uh, show that, uh, you know, these thousands of documents don't have any evidence of uh, cruelty or abatement to suicide. So it's uh, seven and a half years, but we were happy that ultimately the justice has prevailed and uh, he has been honorably discharged from this case. Mr. Baba, uh, Shashi Tharoor talks about uh, how there have been dozens of unfounded accusations against him, that he's been vilified by sustained campaigns in the media. Now that this uh, case itself has been put to rest, uh, is he contemplating any kind of action? Uh, well, it's very difficult because I have not seen the order. The order has not been uploaded at the moment. So we have to read uh, on what basis the discharge has been allowed by the court, but of course there was absolutely no evidence. But I can't make a comment on this at this stage. It's uh, since we have not read the order, we don't know what is the basis of discharge. And uh, I have to speak to him on this. So I can't make any comment at the moment. All right, fair enough. Uh, Mr. Tharoor also talks about his faith in the Indian judiciary being vindicated today, but he also goes on to say that it is uh, it, that in our justice system, the process itself is all too often the punishment. And that presumably is a reference to the seven and a half years that it's taken uh, for matters to come to this conclusion. Now, Shashi Tharoor, of course, has the benefit of being uh, an, an MP, uh, a very well recognized face. And uh, given that he's, uh, it's taken seven and a half years for him uh, in, in such a situation, where does that leave the ordinary under trial? Absolutely. I, I, I agree with you on this. And also, I think Dr. Tharoor is absolutely right. Seven and a half years to decide the uh, application of discharge, it's, it's really unfortunate. But I, don't, I can't blame the courts for it. The SIT of Delhi Police took about four and a half years to conclude the investigation. In fact, they took one year to register the FIR in this case. The death of Sunanda Pushkar is January 2014. FIR is January 2015. And then three years, three and a half years of investigation, charge sheet filed without any evidence. All allegations are frivolous. There is uh, no complaint which is made by anybody in this case uh, with regard to harassment. There is no evidence of any witness who says that she was subjected to any cruelty. There is conclusive evidence on record uh, in the form of opinions of best, best doctors in the country that it is neither a case of femicide nor a case of suicide. But still, it has taken seven and a half years. So I think overall, I would say the criminal justice system in our country has to undergo a change. We should you know, start using technology as we are you know, using it nowadays. The courts are hitting the case through video conferencing. But we must expedite, you know, if discharge has to happen in seven and a half years, see the kind of harassment, see the kind of torture which he must have faced for seven and a half years. But uh, I, I advised him on day one that since the matter is sub judice, please don't make any statement in public, which he did diligently. And uh, he, of course, had full faith in the judicial system. Mm -hmm. So he gave those seven and a half years to this system. 
and yeah. ultimately he has got an order uh, which i have just uh, you know received a copy running into 175 pages just about a minute back i have got it so uh, we 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 think in fact i personally as a criminal lawyer feel that our criminal justice system should improve and we have to expedite this entire process of uh, investigation and trial you can't investigate for 4 years in a case where there is no evidence if the investigating agency is unable to take a call if they can't decide whether offense is made out or not they should file a report there is no harm in right. uh, you know keeping it pending for 4 years and ultimately filing a report which which is no report in the eyes of law and then leaving it to the court to decide ultimately we expect our investigating agencies to be fair and independent and if no offense is made out they should have the guts and they should have the courage to file closure reports in the court they should not leave it to the court so investigating so you're, agencies you're then holding the investigative uh, agencies at fault here you're saying that uh, you know they could have uh, put an end to this long ago yes yes they can't wait for four and a half years to file a report in the court so if, if an offense is made out suppose an accused is in custody the, the the law says you have to conclude investigation in 60 days or 90 days and here it has taken four and a half years although they have done a comprehensive investigation i am not finding too much of fault with their investigation they have been at least fair enough to put every material on record so that the court can analyze material which is in favor of the accused and also against the accused that that i think is that's an is important point you're making vikas pawa that the, it's been an entirely transparent and 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 above board investigation yes but delay uh, ma'am is a is a is a great problem uh, you know we can't wait for four and a half years for an investigation to be concluded uh, it, it's it, it's completely uncalled for because pawa once more you're going to say you're you're saying that you're going to study this order uh, uh, more carefully but uh, you know no thoughts at all on on what next and if dr tharoor is going to seek some form of legal redress for what he's been put through no no we can't say at this stage uh, we, you know we have to have a proper discussion before we take a call so i i can't make any comment at this point of time on this all right all right we we'll let you then uh, look at that order uh, in in closer detail and confer with your client and we hope to talk to you again very soon vikas bahwa lawyer for shashi tharoor thanks very much indeed for speaking with ndtv